Hey guys, what's going on? It's Steven W. 1323, and welcome back to another Do It For Dale. We are going on to the Long Pond, Pennsylvania 500, and I have a funny story about a recent trip I took. I will uh, share the, the pictures on, um, on, on here on YouTube somehow. Probably not in this video, because I'm just not that talented, but, uh, a couple weeks ago, well, I'll tell you when we're in the race, but we are going on after coming off an amazing victory. In fact, I was looking at it before we started. Um, and Earnhardt has won the last one, two, three races, four races. So we're going for four or five in a row for the Earnhardts uh, at Pocono, the Pennsylvania 500. It's going to be definitely an interesting one i want to take a look back at where we were jimmy johnson won it last time i don't remember how we ran at pocono i don't think it was bad but i don't think it was good quick look at the point standings six whole points i mean look at this whole this whole season this, the standings right now um it is crazy six whole points is what separates us from tony stewart the jimmy johnson Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, and Ryan Newman. And, I mean, don't count 7th, 8th. Don't count this top 10 out yet. Yeah, yes, I know we're coming down to the nitty-gritty with a few races to go. But some, some of these drivers can have some bad races. And everyone can take advantage. That's what's so great about this NASCAR with the points system that I love. And it's why we do what we do. But we're also on Hunt. For career win number 100 for Dale, man, it's crazy to think that we would have will be hitting that this series, hopefully in this video in Pocono. So let's go. I don't know why, but I feel really good going in the qualifying. We spent some time in practice getting this car the best I could. Um, man, we. I don't know what setup I had coming in here, but that thing was. Low as fuck. I looked, had gear, custom gear setups. I knew I was trying to, God, make more acceleration, but man, that was, it was just not a good one. Yet, I still ran the fast, my fastest lap of uh, practice session with that setup because uh, after I uh, tweaked around with some things, realized what I needed to do to the new setup I put in, I said, okay, great, we have this right, we're going to risk it for the biscuit jump into qualifying and hopefully this is gonna look good the first lap i don't know could have been better but we don't know right now i uh, could have felt better at least to the line 16th uh definitely could do a better lap here i believe that's that's gonna be our goal right now getting into these turns and just sticking in this best we can Coming off turn three, yes, turn three, you know it, it's Pocono, to the line, 16, damn, that lap wasn't even better, shoot, I think we're going to have a faster car though, I really do. Welcome to Pocono Raceway, located in the heart of the beautiful Pocono Mountains, for today's Pennsylvania 500 on MRN. What can we look for on this unusual track, Barney? Unique is definitely the word for this racetrack. First of all, there are only three corners, each of which has completely different banking, which also means there are three straightaways. And guess what? They're all different links. This is one tough racetrack to prepare a race car for. Bobby Labonte will try to use this race to close in on the points lead. Gaining on the leader is tough when you are in the top five in points. It takes you having a good race and the leader having a bad one in order to gain anything substantial. Hermie Sadler has not had the finishes he's hoped for in the past couple races. I believe they got a good chance to turn their luck around right here. These guys have been working extra hard this week and I think it just may pay off for them in the end. Dale Earnhardt has been starting at the front all season. Starting up front is a big advantage, as you don't have to use the car up to get to the front of the pack. That means when it comes to money time, you still have something left. Start 
Pocono, Pennsylvania. We are starting 16. I believe we have a fat. Oh, Jesus. We, our car's got the restart gear in it. Here we go. Your bike is out. Uh, 20 laps. You know how we do it here. We do it for Dale. Ooh, that car is still there. On stick, but I'll take it. Ride who gets spots. Like I said, I think this car is going to be fast. What I have to watch for, though, is uh, blowing the engine in the draft just because of how fast the car is. My dog just knocked down my cup. You've seen them in previous videos of mine, I'm sure. All right, well, 14. Racing Hermes Sadler for 14th, I should say. There we go, beautiful. Ours stick at the bottom like I could never ask for. Let's just see if we can get a good launch off. Um, don't know where Tony Stewart's at. That's really the guy we got to worry about at the moment. Yeah, when we hit that 206, 207 mark, I'm just going to let off the gas a little bit. Just so we have um, no blowing motor. I don't care what plank you get some friendship with him, you know, we do own the car. Storyline. Sorry, I'm being funny. If I'm not saying much, sorry. Concentrating. I'm moving up. I got a fast car. I just got to get it going. It's like tone bleeding. Don't like that at all. <laughs> Alright, Matt didn't mean to do that. Kind of ruined my run there, I had, but it is what it is. Ooh, beautiful passes there. I can't believe that actually worked. Now we're uh, we're still moving up the mic. You love to see it. Man, that could have been bad. That really could have been bad, especially if the 38 would have been there. That could have took us out. For a ride. Ooh. Whoa, Elliot, what are you doing here? Running me off the track. Jesus. You're trying to run us off the track. That could have been bad, too. Wow, do these computers not know how to drive here? Let hit Mikey, thank you. Now let's work with Mikey. Keep going. We are in the top 10, by the way. It looks like, oops, sorry, Mikey. I just kind of have to go, I guess. Because you don't want to. Oops, hit him again. He might not like me. Anymore. But it's okay. Here we come. We're going to try and get a run. Four six as we come into the first turn. I was gonna tell a story. That's right. Hold on. Let's see if we can make this pass first. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Still could be. And it is. Ooh, hit that wall. That was on. That was all on me. That was a bad move on my part. Let's get back up there. And we'll tell the story while we do. Um. So a couple weeks ago, I was actually Pocono Mountains. I was at the Pocono. Uh, I was about two miles from the Pocono race, the place we stayed at, literally, we had to drive by the track, and I was giddy of all excitement, you know, fast car, clearly, and I was like, oh, man, and I've also been to that track when I was 10 years old, so put it to you that way, the last time I was there, it was 20 years ago, yeah, crazy, no, I wasn't even 10, I was 8, fuck, but either way, um, we were there, and, oops, shit, sorry, Harvick didn't see you there, okay, um, and we woke up the Saturday morning, and you heard race cars going around the track, they were doing, uh, like the NASCAR experience thing that they used to do, the Richard Petty Driving School, they had star car laps, and it was a lot of money, and I thought about doing it, but I was on vacation. And I was just happy to beat them. Now, we need to get back to where we were. I'm going to start concentrating and 
can get back up through the field because we got a car. We really do. We just story time did not help. Oh, and this car's getting tight on us too. Fuck! I'm gonna have to take another round of wedge out. This is not gonna be good going three wide and turn one in this game. I'm just gonna back off. I tried to back off. My goodness, this car is going backwards. This is not a good race right now. <laughs> Whoa, what a move. What a move. That was a bad move. That was a really bad move. Sorry, Mark. Mark Martin doesn't like us anymore. That was that was really bad on my part. I should have done that, but I know I have a fast car. I just gotta Just gotta hit the mark, Steven. Like we used to say, like we say. Get the marks, cars are pitting. Interesting, interesting. Cars are pitting. Beautiful pass on that. Kind of Park feels like it's coming to life again. Definitely going to have to loosen this thing up a lot of it. Other than that. Yeah, the car is just super tight with all the tires going. Oh my goodness, this thing does not turn. I think these cars in front of me are pitting, and if they are, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to come in, hit polar tires, fuel. Ooh, Bill's pitting. We're going to come in with Bill. We're going to change things up for once. Loosen the car up, put some more tire pressure in there. Yes, man. Rip. Oh, repair the damage. Yes, I don't want to blow the car up or anything like that. So here we come on in, crew don't mess this up, <clears throat> we got a top 10, maybe top 5 car, I can't say winning, like I can't, because this car, it's good, but it ain't that good, we just gotta try and maximize and not lose as many points today to Tony or to anyone as possible, especially the next race we go is the Brickyard in Indianapolis. Man, that was a beautiful entry. Loosen the car up. Hopefully it's going to turn. We're also going to have fresh tires, too. That's going to be nice. So let's see where we cycle out. And, uh, try and get us a decent finish. Oh, baby. No. No, no, no. That was interesting right there. Finally, some of the leaders are pitting right now. We're 18, so at least we'll cycle somewhere. The car feels mid, or meh, or whatever. I can't even explain it to you. This car is something else. We're just going to have to fight for the last few laps for uh, keeping positions or gaining. That was a beautiful tunnel turn, so if we can maybe figure out the track, maybe we'll actually start gaining some positions. Hope Jr. wins this race. We cycled out 11th, I guess. So we do have a top 10 in reach. Just all about hitting the marks, getting there, and uh, hoping for something either crazy to happen up front or our car or me just hit the grooves, hit the marks, and just go for it. Of course, the car in front of us is Mark Martin. He's mad, but he isn't going to hit us. So, 
get up there and try to see if we can start just gaining some spots. And this car's actually just coming back to us. Come on, Mark, let's go. I love how he can stick that and I can't. How the fuck does that work? Nice. Well. Alright, don't look behind us. Just go for it. Five to go. Man, we, our car is just falling off. These guys are just faster than us here. Don't know. Junior's behind us. Don't like to see that. So that means somebody that's not in our hearts can win this race. Kenseth, you're gonna pass me. Go faster. Dude, this thing just wants to spin, and there's no reason for that. Killed all my momentum, man. I'm so close to at least trying to get a top ten, but no, the car wants to spin because I have it so fucking loose. I used to be for a turn. Apparently it's not even going to do that. Turn. Dude, I have this thing set to freaking turn. Okay, well, I'm not going to get top down. Fuck. That sucks. Probably why you don't try to undercut the field, folks. Come on, Mark. I respect you, but please, I have a faster car than you. Not gonna wreck them because that end the race. I have spots in front of me, but my car won't turn. Take advantage of having spots in front of me. I'm not even like doing bad. 14. Get to worry about it because I know this car's got is a championship caliber car. Oh, can we shoot the metal? We're gonna go for it. Whoa. <laughs> Do you believe in? No. Nope. Come on, car. <sighs> Damn it, sorry, Mark. Well, we had a chance at a fucking top ten. We really did. But this car will not stick turns to save its life. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna hit him. Out of here, Jeff. White flag is out. We are just racing the race. I'm throwing everything at this car, but I'm going to not. I should because it's just going to wreck in the end. So we're going to have to try and settle with a 12th place finish here. <gasps> Hi, Jeff Gordon. What are you doing? Costing me a 12th place finish, I see. No, oh, 13th place finish. Thanks, Jeff. Well, that was freaking worth it. Oh, that was disappointing. Well, this is the first time I'll say we'll skip the outro because of... Oh, man, Tony Stewart won. Because they said nothing. They were like, yeah, Caution Fury race. We'll see you next time. So, let's take a look at the race results as it is. Tony Stewart dominated. Did exactly what we didn't want him to do. And he got bonus points, won the race. So he's going to extend his points lead. Then we got Dale Jarrett, Ryan Newman, Ricky Rudd, Kevin Harvick. Dale Jr. got his way up to sixth. We've Rusty, seventh. Eighth, Jeff Burton, ninth. Bill Elliott, tenth. Bobby Labani. Eleventh is Michael Waltrip, twelfth. Matt Kenza, thirteenth. Craven, and we came home fourteenth. I mean, when in the end of things, you look at it, yeah, we, uh, we, Went up from when we started, but it wasn't the best points day, so I expect us to be uh, going down in the points. Is there any DNFs this race? No? No one. That's awesome to see. Uh, let's take a look at the point standing as it is. We dropped down to minus 70 points, just 
like that. Tony Stewart got his second win of the season. Apparently, his 21st of the year. What I want to know is, who won the title last year? Newman. Newman. <laughs> he could be in contention to go back to back. That's crazy. Uh, we finished outside the top 10. That stinks. But, you know, is what it is. We didn't have the best car there. Tony Stewart still got the points lead. Bobby Labonte, Newman looking to depend. Kenseth, Jimmy, Rusty, Rudd, Jared, and Jeff Gordon round out your top 10. I mean, kind of feel bad. I should have looked to see where him and Mark finished after that because I think they got together and wrecked. That was uh that was something. No awards. But we still have over a hundred laps on Tony Stewart for most laps led. So that should be something, right? And the next time we come at you for the Do It for Dale series, we're going back to the brickyard. That is right. Indy Annapolis Motor Speedway Brickyard four hundred. If you liked what happened today and you enjoyed the video. Give the video a thumbs up, share it with some friends, subscribe if you are new, follow me anywhere you find me at stevenw1323, all my links are down in the description below, and so are some of the previous videos that are popping up, I appreciate you so very much, but until next time, I'll see ya!